Welcome back guys. Uh, this is section two, creating the MongoDB database. Uh, before watching this section, I recommend you guys to watch the intro video and section one video. Uh, section one talks about creating the Angular app. And in this section, we'll be creating a MongoDB database. So we'll be using the yamlab.com. They provide a free MongoDB database and we can use up to half a gig of storage for free. And go to the mblab.com and click on the sign up. And in here, enter all the needed info, enter a valid email uh, because they will be sending a verification email to your email address. So you need to verify that, verify your email and once you have done that, uh, click on the login and um, So once you verify your email, the create new will be enabled. Uh, without verification, this will be disabled. So uh, click on the create new. Once you are in, I already got a database, but let me walk through the steps I have used to create that database. Uh, you For you, this section will be, uh, there won't be anything in here when you come inside for the first time. So go ahead and create the create new button and choose the Amazon and uh, click on the, uh, that is by default, Amazon is selected. Don't change anything. Keep it as it is and click on the free tier um, and click on the continue button. And in here you will be given with the choice of location and choose the closest location and click on the continue. And in here, enter your database name. So let me add another database, socket app to do number two. Uh, click on the continue and make sure everything is free. Uh, half a gig of storage is free, total price free, and submit the order. And um, the data database is created and click on the database and go in here and click on the users and click on the add database user button and add it add a user and save that info and this is the most important part this section uh, copy uh, save that so this is their protocol and replace this with the user you created and the password you created uh, for the user and this is our database so we will be using this string to connect to this uh, database uh, when we create the node app um, so we'll be using this connection string to connect to the database so save it uh, remember the username and password uh, we will need that when we connect to the database. Uh, that is pretty much it. Uh, on the next section, we will be creating the uh, Node app with Express and Mongoose to connect to the MongoDB database. Uh, see you guys on the next section. Bye.